everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about compositing, more specifically, the gray node. So the gray node is an effect you can add to your scene to make it look a bit more analogic, in a way? No, analog, analogic, analog. It's gonna make it look a bit more crappy, but crappy is good because crappy means sometimes more authentic. It also prevents your animation from looking too perfect, in a way. So if we look at the documentation that Toon Boom has to offer, they show us this weird potato man <laughs> and you can clearly see that here you have the default one that is very very perfect perfect is not bad okay it's just that if you want something a bit more grainy this node is gonna help you out of course in that case it's a bit too extreme this would be if you have like a television screen that you want to showcase in your scene or something generally don't forget as usual to check out the documentation on the subject it's gonna help you a lot but i'm also here to show you around so let's go back to my video the scene i'm gonna be using today is one of my old scenes from game Grumps. i thought it was perfect because it has a background and it has a lot of things going on different colors lighting and stuff so it'll be fun to try it out so the gray node can be used in three ways i mean it can be used in multiple ways but mainly three ways either you apply it to your whole scene or you apply it to a character or you apply it to a part of a character Okay, so that's the three cases I'm going to show you today. First off, if you want to apply it to your whole scene, it is pretty simple because the gray node is a simple node to use. So I'm just going to connect it to my basic display, the one that is connected at the bottom of my whole scene. And all I have to do is take it, then I'm going to press Alt to slide it in the wire and connect it. And now you see, <laughs> nothing happens. That's because since the grain is what we call a double ported node, because it has two ports, there is the middle kind of uh, port that is for the image. And then on the left, you have the mask port. It's literally a mask, like you can't miss it. And the mask port is there to have something in that will affect the other side, okay? When you have a double ported node, the mask part is made to have a drawing come in and be like the zone of influence of whatever this is. In this case, a grain. But if it was like a highlight node or a tone node, you'd, you'd have the same picture. So currently, your composite is getting grained, but there's nothing graining it. So all you have to do for your whole scene to be affected by it, you have to take the wire and just connect it here. So that means your, the grain effect will affect the scene with this zone of influence, which is your whole scene. So there you go, now you see that there's a bit of grain in my image. I'm gonna zoom out to show you the full picture. So this is with the grain and this is without. It's probably not showing that much into the recording, but... Um, you see, it makes a difference and it makes everything looks a bit more cohesive as well. So here in my background, I have very flat colors. That's the style I chose. And on front, I also have some brush strokes. So instead of giving my whole background a bunch of brush strokes all the time, having a gray node kind of um, helps mix your colors as well. So I'm going to activate it. And you see, uh, even from far away, it kind of just gives a bit more co cohesiveness to your scene. Now, how do you set up the gray node? It's pretty easy. You connect it, like I said, and then in the yellow box of properties, you have some little things you can affect. So first you can give it a name, but also you can uh, go to noise. So the noise is the amount of grain that you're gonna add to the image based on the percentage of pixels to alter. So a larger value will mean that your grain will be more prominent. <laughs> And a lower value will mean that your grain will be more subtle. The smaller value is zero. You cannot go minus zero. Yeah, so if you put zero, you're gonna have a <laughs> very, very fine, like, you know, non-existent grain. But if you do 0.1, you get just enough little subtle D to make your scene look cool. And of course, if you do uh, 0 0.9, <laughs> or if you do one, you're doomed. <laughs> That's a lot of grain, don't do that. 0.1 is usually my favorite spot. The smooth parameter is the amount of blending to apply to the gray effect based on like a blur radius. Uh, this makes the effect appear a bit less pixely and more smooth. Again, the larger the value, the smoother the look. So now I have zero, so that's why I have a very pixelated, grainy look. But if I put 0.5, see, it's really smooth. I think it's a bit too smooth for how thin my noise was. Yeah, so if I put 0, 3 pixelated, if I put 0 0.1, it becomes a bit more um, soft. It's like a VHS thing. If you wanted to change each frame or not, you can use this toggle. And the seed value, uh, as usual in every <laughs> uh, node when there's a seed, it just means that it's going to give you more random. So in that case, according to the doc, it says this value corresponds to a unique pattern in the grain. If you want to retain this pattern in other frames, you can reuse this value. But honestly, it's grain, right? We don't usually worry about it too much we just put it in makes your scene look great and you don't worry too much about it that's it so that's how it works and again to put it in your scene either you put it like that with the two ports 
having the same image or you can go here for example i have my two characters uh, in this composite and i can put the grain uh, here under this character like that which means that only this character will get the grain and not the background because you know the grain node is here not here and the other option that you can have is you can put the grain on a character but just decide that a certain zone is affected by the grain so either by using a color selector or a color variety or just a mask that you paint with i'm gonna go here and draw something and then that zone is gonna get pixelated because i drew on it i don't know why you'd want to do that but hey you can so it's an option all right so i hope you had fun and that you're gonna use this in your scenes Woohoo! bye bye <laughs>